Hello everybody, welcome back to Lair of the Overmind for part 7 of my Let's Play Undertale series. We're kicking it here in Snowden, just kind of walking around talking to people. Let's play monsters and humans! Sounds like fun, just like coppers and robbers. You aren't gonna make me the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. I'm sure it did. Knock, knock, knock. Ah, oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Why not? Ah, oh, my patience rewards me. Ah. Oh. Those people really like that knock. Alright, let's see what's over here. We got a wolf. Jeez, that guy looks a bit intimidating. Just tossing ice cubes into the water, it looks like. Okay. What a day job. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Ring, ring. Hello, can I speak to G... Wait a second. Is, that the, is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Okay, yeah. No time for having the wrong number. We got places to go. Things to do. Oh, got a little bit of a library. Hey, it's Luke's. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Yes, indeed I am. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <laughs> <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. They... I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now! I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Congrats for you, it's good to be number one at something. Welcome to the library, yes we know. The sign is misspelled. Yeah, you guys might want to work on that. Let's see what we got in the books here. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Oh, how nice. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of I'm kinda sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. Hey, there's been human wizards. How do you guys think you got stuck down here? Weren't you sealed with a magic spell? Eh? Uh, they'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Yes, they do. We get bullet pattern birthday cards all the time. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Okay, little meta. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken, and the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with a desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter here. Very dark subject. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> See, love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Ah, uh, that's a little dark as well. Can we check the book here? Nope, does not look like it. All right, let's keep on going. So we've got a bunch of mail here. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. <laughs> this mailbox is labeled papyrus and is empty. Let's look inside. Yeah, it's empty. So papyrus's mailbox and Sans's mailbox. Sans is incredibly popular. Papyrus, not so much. It's kind of sad. It's locked. You guys ain't home. You guys are not home, huh? Okay. Oh, there's the shortcut we were told about. Let's go back through there. Alright. Let's keep on going. Oh, it's getting frosty. Oh, geez. Uh, what's going on? Uh oh. Is that you, Papyrus? Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. 
Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, small, smart person. A cool, smart person. You can call me small, Papyrus, dang it. <laughs> but they'll think you're cool. These feelings, they must be what you're feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Uh-oh. We have to fight him. Papyrus blocks the way. There's your music. All right, let's flirt. Let's check him out. Eight attack, two defense. He likes to say, Nyeh -heh -heh -heh. Nyeh -heh -heh. <laughs> Indeed. Um, kind of easy there, Papyrus. Papyrus whispers, <laughs> Let's uh, flirt, I guess. What? Flirting? So you reveal your ultimate feelings, finally. Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. Uh, I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna capture me with that kind of effort, Papyrus. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Uh, Sinsel. How selfless! You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Uh, is Am I missing something here? Flirt again, I guess? Oh no! Let's date later after I capture you. Okay. Yeah, I must be missing something. Spare him. So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fable, the blue attack! You just don't move, right? Yeah, that's pretty easy. That's pretty easy, Papyrus. Oh wait, what? Oh, gravity. Gravity's a thing. You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> oh jeez, the battle begins. I flirt again. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later after I capture you. So is this another thing where I have to just spare him relentlessly? Papyrus dabs MTT brand beach cream behind his ear. You don't have an ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. I bet you're not. Oh, getting taller. Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. You don't have an ear, bro. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Alright, oh, 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 jeez. Papyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity! Blue, blue, blue bone. Whoop. Alright, doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Dabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Head of the Royal Guard! Whoa. Dabs MGT brand beauty yogurt behind this ear. Man, you're dabbing a lot of stuff behind these ears. Unparalleled Spaghettor! God, I love this music. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> nice! Undyne will be really proud of me! Will she? Uh, oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh! Uh, oh my gosh! They're starting to step it up a little bit. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Yeah! The, the king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile! How about that? Nope. Oh, no. Okay, we took a hit. No, not too bad, though. Papyrus is considering his options. Let's keep sparing him. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Ah. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. <laughs> it's been nothing but bone attacks. Spare. I'll have lots of admirers, but... But you won't have me as a friend. If you capture me, I'm pretty cool, I tell ya. Papyrus is considering his options still. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Aww. I don't think so. You're pretty cool, Papyrus. Ain't gonna lie. Ah, dang it. Whoa. Oh, they're moving. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Yeah, getting in the mood to bounce around. Someone is... Someone like you is really rare! It's true. Dang it. Whoop. Let's see what we got. Let's have a nice cream. Love yourself. I love you. Your max HP is maxed out. Your HP is maxed out. And I didn't read that, dang it. Pay attention! Getting way too into that music, man. Papyrus is cackling. <laughs> after you, after, after you're captured and sent away. Ouch! Come on, Papyrus, don't do it. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Ah, who cares? Give up! Dang it! Papyrus is still rattling his bones. Spare! Give up or face my special attack! Gosh. Preparing a bone attack, as always. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack! Whoop! Yeah, he's gonna use a special, he might want to use another nice cream. You look nice today. Thank you. Your, your HP is maxed out. Not too long, and I will use that special attack. Whoa. Trying hard to play cool. This is your last chance before my special attack. Bring it on, Papyrus. Let's see what you got. Remember the bad joke Sans told in his frowning. <laughs> Behold! My special attack! Uh, it's a dog. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! You hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. He's getting ready for a regular attack, okay. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Yay, yay, whoop. Whoop, this isn't normal. You, Papyrus, you liar. Why the hell you lying? Why you always lying? <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez. Cool, dude. Okay, you are pretty cool, dude. Oh my god. Uh, whoa, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, jeez. Wow. Up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Is it gonna get me? Up, uh, up. Uh, oh, uh, okay, no, I got it. I got it. I was close. <laughs> I was really close. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Okay. Sounds good to me.
no! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant! Well, you'll have me as a friend. Be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee! We haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the service. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have a you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is well, he is a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, "Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home?" He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home, being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> All right, Papyrus, you're a cool guy. You're a very cool guy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about all these cool characters. And I'll see you all for the next installment.